on the beautiful par 3 seventh hole and I've come here to work on my short game. It's a big green with quite a bit of tilt and I put three balls around the green here. I've got a pitch shot down the hill with a severe downhill shot. I've got one coming up from down in a little dip there which is slightly uphill and then I've got a side hill one. So each one is going to require a different club, a different shot and really it's about the visualization. How do I see the shot? As I'm walking to my ball here, I'm walking up the hill and I can feel the steepness as I'm walking. So I know this is going to be fast running away from me. So I need to hit this shot with loft. I don't want to play my 7 iron or my pitching wedge because it's going to come out too low and run too far. So I'm going to use a more lofty club here. I've got my 60 degree because I want height and I want spin. So how am I going to play this shot? Technically, what I'm trying to do is keep my weight on my left side and hit it with the turn of my body. I don't want to use my hands. I'm actually just trying to engage my center and hit with the turn, use very little hands. And the feeling is that I'm using the back of the club here. I'm using the bounce of the club in order to make contact. Now, visually, what I'm going to do is take this yellow stick and place it on the green where I want the ball to land. I'm going to put it just here and actually what I want is the ball to land just beyond this spot and if I do that the downhill slope will take the ball on its way to the hole. So actually if I pace this off I've really only got myself seven, eight, nine, a ten yard pitch shot. So it's a ten yard pitch shot landed over the yellow stick and let the green do the rest of the work. A couple of practice swings to get the feeling quiet in the hands, use the body, make a nice contact. Do that, land it right over the yellow stick and look at that ball just slowly, slowly making its way down to the hole. Pretty good shot from back here, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to the next hole. So I'm picking up my stick and as I walk I can feel the downhill slope here As I'm going to my ball, I can now sense that it's uphill, obviously. The wind's coming a little bit off the left. And the wind can really play irrelevance here on pet shots. So what I'm trying to do here is have a nice short follow through, get solid contact on the ball and get it up the hill all the way to the hole. That's come out beautifully and that's released up to the hole just about perfectly. And now as I work my way around the green here, I'm way beyond the flag over to the right. I've got a big right to left slope. It's flat, it's almost maybe a little uphill, then it breaks and it's a little downhill and I'm back into the wind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a seven iron, which has much less loft obviously than my other two wedges. And I'm going to try and get a little right to left shot going here and run it all the way out to the hole. Now ideally I probably want to land this ball at least a third of the way on the green and make it roll. And for technique as I'm out here practicing, I'm going to grip this stick halfway down and I'm going to do a little shot here because what this is reminding me to do is to continually turn my body. If my body stops, it's going to whack right into the side of my hip here. Let's see if I can play a nice little shot here and run it on out. I'm pretty happy with that, just slightly underneath the hole. So just to recap, three different shots around the hole. I had to use my sandwich over there and hit a nice soft pit shot land the ball onto the green and let the downhill eye do the work. I had the pitching wedge shot up the hill with a bit of side wind where I made a very crisp short follow through and then from here I used the seven iron and I tried to run the ball out on the green and I had this against the side of my hip there in order to give me the sense of rotating through. One thing I've got out of this for sure is the more you work on your short game the more confident you become the easier it is to pick the right club, the easier it is to see the right shot, and even doing little drills like this help me work on my technique.